Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you how to bleed uh, your Shimano brakes. If your brakes are spongy or they're really old and you've noticed a decrease in their performance uh, and they pull all the way to the bar like this one here, uh, that could mean that you need a new brake bleed. So we're going to show you in this video. Stuff you're going to need is a Shimano specific mineral oil. I wouldn't use anything else, just play it safe with the Shimano brand. Uh, some disc brake cleaner or isopropyl alcohol to clean your brakes after so you don't get any residue on your pads or your rotors. Um, a Shimano funnel, you can get these really cheap anyway off eBay, wherever anything works, just to hold the mineral oil whilst you're there. And last but not least, uh, the Allen keys. This is going to help you open and close the brake. Yeah. Alright, so the first step of the bleed is to loosen up the brake lever and make it the highest point of the bike so all the air bubbles can travel out the lever and put new fluid in. Alright, so you just want to take off the pads, the pin, then remove the pads. All right, so you're gonna want to put the blue block in, but sometimes it won't go in. You just want to separate the caliper. So that blue block can fit. It's not that free, and there you go. All right, so the next thing is you're gonna to want to take that top bolt off of the brake. Be careful not to leave the O-ring in there or lose it. It's very important. Now, you're gonna to want to get the bleed cup and Thread it in there, be careful, soft threads, and they will you will cross thread the plastic. Alright. Now get some mineral oil and add add some. Ideally you'd use a syringe. Right. Now you're gonna wanna press the lever, see those bubbles coming out, you're replacing the oil every single time a bubble comes out. Just want to keep doing that and do see no more bubbles. All right, after a while pressing the lever, you're going to want to tap your lever to get all those bubbles back up. All the way down. All the bubbles out. Once you've done that for a bit, go back to getting the bubbles out. All right, so I've just got a Velcro strap put around the lever and the bars just to get all those extra bubbles out. You just leave it, but you can also use a zip tie or a piece of string if you want, just anything to hold that lever back. Alright, after 30 minutes of leaving it like this, I left it a while because my brake was really bad, so I want it all the bubbles out. I'm going to take out the Velcro strap. And, sec. Get the plunger for the lead cup, put it back, and give it a couple pulls, see if it it's good. It's pretty good. Plug it back. Okay. Unplug this. And then. Get your valve back on. Allen key. Tighten it up. Make sure not to cross the threads. And that's a new lever. Do it nice and tight, not too tight. And there you go. Alright, so you got your disc brake cleaner now, a rag or something. Let's give it a good spray, get all of that oil off. You don't want oily hands on a ride. Alright, so you're going to want to take the bleed block out the back and get a lot of dips, disc brake cleaner in here. Just because it's so important to get all of that old oil off do not want to be contaminating your pads just give a good clean inside and the pistons and the, piston and the pistons <laughs> yeah, good good clean if you want go over it again just 100 percent why buy new pads when yours work go for a second round get all of it Stuck it in there, pull it back out. And this is to stop all the mineral oil going on your disc brakes. And uh, rotors, you, yeah. if you want, get the surrounding areas. Otherwise, your, 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 brakes will, your brakes will squeal. And, and it'll be less powerful. No one likes listening to that, and yeah, you don't have powerful brakes. 
All right, so once you got your pads, you don't you don't want to touch the insides or you'll contaminate them, make them squeaky. Just get hold them from the outside and put them back into the rotor. The rotor. Get your pin. Slide it back through the hole. There you go. All right, so if you're freshly bred and clean brake, pads back in, you want to adjust your lever to where it was, tighten it back up, and look, I've got a freshly bled brake.